friends, welcome back to another Sumi Shades here with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team Allblade, hashtag No Blade Left Behind, guys. Squad goals. Thank you so much for clicking into my video and for joining me. I'm thrilled to be here, guys. It has been a ride. It has been a roller coaster of a couple days, and I'm just absolutely thrilled to be in front of you guys today with a beautiful head shave going on. I am ecstatic. So many updates. Get yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Get yourself a chair. Will it on into the den and welcome to it guys. I'm thrilled today to have you here. We're going to be rocking the Yachi. This is the Yachi DeLorean setup guys from the Australian website, but most of us just know it as the Yachi tile, right? This is the Henson like razor. Now that the Henson's made their adjustments and updates guys, um, this is actually more of its own unique thing and they um, make this in stainless steel it's a beautiful razor and I did a video recently on how to polish it to get it to this mirror beautiful you can see mine's a little bit a little bit uh, <laughs> it's got fingerprints and stuff on it once you do that guys do know that it is going to be a fingerprint magnet but they are beautiful razors they have a medium amount of fill to the skin guys and I do think that they shave in that medium category I really like this this again was uh, very very similar okay we're is a very similar to the Yachi's uh, medium razor, right? Or the Henson's medium razor back in the Dizzy. And then this has got the, 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 I think they call it the DeLorean handle. It's not there anymore, guys, which is kind of odd. Got a photo here. Um, it's kind of an odd thing. I, I love this handle, though. It kind of reminds me of a lightsaber handle. And somebody mentioned that. They said, I call that the lightsaber handle. And I was like, that is perfect. That is exactly what it is. It is the modern lightsaber handle. So we're going to use this today. I'm really excited. Again, this came from Yachi. And it came as a um, kind of a way for me to demonstrate and showcase. And the reason why, guys, is because I did this video with this razor before, one time before, and it had uneven exposure. They've gone in, they fixed that. There was a tolerance problem, apparently. But the interesting thing is these parts now interchange with the Henson parts. They're that close of a, like that close of a manufacturing uh, clone copy. Whatever you want to call it, guys. Very similar. Very uh, is an inspiration tribute homage style right here, right? So the stainless steel 316, and it is beautiful, really high quality. And we're using Persona Lab Blues, guys. Very, very nice blades. Okay, I wanted to use this today, but then it got me thinking. I was like, let's do a shave that smells fancy, that is really nice, but isn't that much of a, a damage to your wallet, right? We're going to use A&E's. Um, this is his like budgetary soap, guys. This is Pedro Fiasco Shaving Cream. You could say this is Vanilla and Boys, or Boys Dead Vanilla, excuse me, guys. I really like this from Peter. It's like an attempt to uh, um, provide really good quality products at a more affordable price. I think there's gonna be like $19.99. I really like this idea of providing a less, like a more medium tier product, guys. I really like this. The product performance is still right up there, guys. I've got it lathered up already. It smells amazing. It's just, it may be not as complex as some of the more expensive scents. It's vanilla and a little bit of like, that's like just like a vanilla and spice kind of scent. I really like this. Very, very nice set, and I think it's a set that, like, if you're a new wet shaver, right, and you're trying to find something that's just basic, down the line, if you're sitting at a bus stop, people are like, whoa, what is that? It's a very easy-to-wear scent, guys. We're going to be using the Yachi. This is a professional rocks brush. Beautiful brush, and it's a 28 mil knot, guys. 28 mil knot, really, really, really nice. Um, I love this. It, it, it takes on so much soap, guys. So much soap. I'm telling you, Yachi right now with their professional series is turning out bangers. This is just absolutely mind-blowing how good the quality is for the money expenditure. I think that they've really upped their game, guys. I am absolutely thrilled to be um, seeing them kind of expand and grow because what I bought for uh, two years ago, three years ago versus what I'm getting now, night and day difference, night and day difference. Awesome stuff. We're going to be using Pedro, uh, um, sorry, A &E. we're going to pair Pedro Fiasco with a &E's Vanilla Vendetta, guys. These two scents for me paired together with the Boos de, Va de Vanille is an absolute banger. It's a smash hit, guys, and I love them combined. And the vanilla and spice go with these and it smells like very expensive, very, very, very high end and very bougie without having to break the bank. Awesome stuff from A&E, guys. Again, this is Vanilla Vendetta, probably my favorite all-time vanilla scent, even over some of Tom Ford stuff. I love this, guys. All right, and then we've got ourselves the um, Pacific Shave Coat as the undershave, guys, as like the shave, pre-shave stuff. I use shaving cream. I really like it as pre-shave. And we're using the Omega. This is the alum stick is Omega, guys. I really like the Omega. So we're going to get the hand wiped across and we're going to get shaving, guys. I first just want to have a call out here. I wanted to thank um, uh, my good friend uh, that sent me some love and some support via PayPal, guys. 
I have a link down below if you want to support me, support the channel, support the concepts that we bring here. There is a link below you can do that. And I don't, I've never like pushed the idea. I, I, it's just more there to, you know, I, I, I appreciate it. It means the world to me. It makes it so that I can do these kind of things. And it makes it so I can do them at a, a more steady pace, right? I don't have to take breaks and stuff in between so that I can uh, acquire enough funds to do my next shave. And I did have somebody that went out of their way and sent us money and sent us a wonderful little comment. And I just really appreciated that. And I wanted to have a two second call out and just thank the person for going out of their way and brightening mine, right? Just to brighten mine. What an awesome, awesome, uh, what an awesome craft that we have and share together and what a hobby this really is. And I love you people that are here with me, the friendships, the camaraderie, and honestly, like the, the ability to enjoy happy skin without irritation, without razor burn, and without dumping tons of plastic into the environment, right? That's really what makes me happy. It gets me up in the morning. It gets me shaving. It gets me excited to shave. And I love that there's people out there that also do the same thing, that enjoy it for the same reasons. Guys, I really do love wet shaving, and I hope that I can bring a little bit of happiness and joy into your life on the daily, right? That is my goal, and I hope you guys know. Subi smiles to all of you. Again, huge shout out and thanks for the love and support, guys. I want to also mention about love and support that we have been competing in the lather games over on reddit guys we have been competing in the lather games and it was a tough month we did 30 days for all you guys that didn't see it 30 days individual shaves they were all theme based they all had very very difficult challenges like shaving outside what my neighbors watch um we, we you know we did shave in the kitchen we shaved all over weird places they have shaves that you have to use specific razors. You, know, you had to use a nickel plated, brass uncoated. You had to use straight. There was a lot of challenges, guys. And in the end, after we did all the um, films, we never missed a day. We filmed all 30 days. We ended up placing seventh. Seventh? Yes, yeah, seventh, guys. We placed seven. Lucky number seven out of, um, I'll put the roster here. It's really hard. There's a bunch of statistics that go into it. I'll put the roster over here. It was a lot of people, but in the end, only four, I think four people completed every single day and didn't miss a challenge, guys. We did miss three challenges. We missed the straight challenge, and it really wasn't that big of a deal to me. Um, it is a fourth of a point. And I think that's why we placed so highly. We really did place pretty high, guys. We placed seventh, which before, if you, I did it the year before, and we were like 50 or 60. So this is a big deal. And we did end up getting something nice. I don't know what. We will get something from the challenge, guys. And I, I will be posting that here and letting you guys know what we win. All right, let's talk about the Razor Day, guys. I know I've been all over the place. We have a lot going on. Like I said, there's a ton of updates. Um, ton of updates. I'm really excited. Guys, we placed. We're going to get like an award. We got like a, like, there's going to be like a Grinch moment, right? We're going to, they're going to put us up on a little chair. And down, no, they're really not going to do that. But we did get our own insignia. Um, lights, camera, shave, because we should film for 30 days. They're going to uh, make a flare specifically for us and for the channel and for what we did. Lights, camera, shave, guys, is going to be the um, flare that we earned and won. And I came up with that concept. I came up with lights, camera, shave. I thought it was cool. I thought it was funny. I think it denotes what we did. So I'm really excited. Um, that's over on Reddit, guys. So uh, I want to also just mention, guys, I just mentioned really quickly, I am thankful for all of you guys that supported the journey and not just the accomplishment. I know it was a lot of shaving. It was a lot of challenges, and there's a lot going on. So thank you, guys. Um, the razor today, guys, honestly, seriously, the fact that I can do all this, like, random, you know, updates and stuff and still get an awesome BBS shave, really denotes how good the razor is. It did have some um, edges. It had some scratches, guys. Honestly, from the factory, I was surprised. When I was really up and close under under light, I could see some little, finely, like, you know, little very fine scratches on the finish, but we buffed them out. We took everything out. We took it to a mirror finish, and we got an absolutely beautiful razor. Now, I think, and this is personal here, guys. Keep in mind, don't come at me with torches. Don't get angry at me, guys. I think this shaves as good, if not better, than the original OG Henson um, razor, right? I like the hit, um, heft of it. I like the way it feels against the skin. And because we deburred it, we removed the edges and everything, I think it really did perform at, at least better better than the original. I really do, guys. I like the way I like the way it feels on the skin, and I really like the way that this shaves. You can see it's very close. Now, with the update that Henson has made, things are changed, right? They did update that razor, and the way it shaves is very different now compared to what it used to shave like. And the way it felt on the skin. Now, I would say that this is and that one are very similar now. Honestly, very similar in performance and uh, kind of skin fill after you deburred this razor. Now, as far as like, I mean, look at this. Look at how it shaves, guys. Look. Look at that. Is that 30 hours of shaving, guys? 30 hours. And we were flying through it. 
like it doesn't even exist. We are mowing down. This is 30 hours, and I love this razor for this fact, guys. I can really push the BBS. I can get in here and really be um, picky, and even on my tough spots, I can get a fantastic shave. I love this razor. I really do. I think it's a phenomenal shave, and I cannot believe that you can get the razor for 20 bucks. I had a, a picture of it, guys. Picture of it the day it was on sale for 20 bucks. I can't believe you can get the head for $20. It is a crazy stainless steel head, guys, that is beautiful, that has tons of potential for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Now, I know some of you are like, well, I don't want to have to sand mine down. I don't want to do all that stuff. You don't really have to. I mean, I like it that way because I think it shaves a little bit more comfortably on the skin. But, I mean, honestly, you can shave with it just as is with a matte finish. It's going to give you a great shave. It really is. I think the quality is nice. It does have a little bit of a suction fill that you can reduce by taking the edges off and mirroring it. That does help a lot, guys. If you're a person that has this razor and it does have that suction fill, by going in and polishing it, you're going to greatly reduce this, the drag fill to it, and you're going to increase the smoothness you're gonna get from it. And it's gonna help with that, just by a titch, guys. Just by a titch, it will remove that suction fill ever so slightly, but not as much as their new, the Henson's new update really killed the suction. I mean, there's really no suction at all. There you go, guys. Beautiful glass shave, smash hit shave, guys. Wow. I told you, we're going to get a beyond beautiful shave. We're going to smell fantastic. And in the end, it's not going to break the bait. I don't know what else you guys want. That is awesome. If you're not this excited about your shave routine, guys, you got to change something. It should be this exciting. You should be done shaving and say to yourself, well, I killed that. Let's do it again tomorrow. You know, I, I just, I love that about the wet shaving hobby because in the end, guys, your skin's going to love you for it. Your, your bank account is going to be much happier because it's way cheaper. And the fact that this isn't going to you know, pollute uh, a dump site is even better, guys. I love it. I really do. And for me, ah, yeah, that's the shave. I love this product. I really do, guys. I think the Yachi Tile is up there with one of my favorite all-time razors for shaving my head. i got to be honest with you. I love shaving my cheeks with it because it kind of hugs the cheek really nicely. You know, it can just... And most double down. I don't know what else you guys want. It's an awesome shave. And again, super cheap, 20 bones, guys. I love the razor. I do think that the quality of the razor could be improved as far as the finish goes. Now, the actual shape and everything is dynamite. It really is. They've gone out of their way to make the updates. And with the um, uh, both sides being even now, you're going to get a product that is going to be absolutely bonkers. Bonkers, guys. It is Skittletastic. It is Lucky Me Charms. It is a marshmallows only kind of shape. It really is up there, guys. Up there. Fantastic shape. It's got the beveled edge, so you're not going to have any guesswork. No fiddling with angles. You sit into this, uh, this shape plane and you shave. It's one of those ones that I love. Now, I did use the heavy handle here, guys. That does increase performance. If you want a, a little bit more control and to adjust your performance and to get a little bit lighter of a shape, just switch the handle out, guys. Go a little lighter handle, and you can kind of get in between a Henson and the Yachty Tile with a hefty handle. Now, keep in mind, guys, this hefty handle is still not ultra hefty. You can get, like, their monster handle. You can take this way, way up as far as the performance if you want to and the shave, like, the efficiency just by taking the handle up a bunch, you know, a couple notches on the weight. Awesome shave. Again, Peter from A&E, man. What a scent. What a beauty, man. Beautiful shave. Guys, thank you for joining me for it. I hope you have wonderful days. I'll catch you in the next Subi Shaves video. Soups out!